Hi everyone, welcome to Jubilant Arts. My name is Judith. I am all excited to do my Bible art journaling. Today I am going to reflect on the teachings of Jesus about salt and light in this world and what is our role, what, what are the efforts what we should do to absorb that gospel reflection into our daily lives. So let me start doing that now. I'm turning the Bible into Gospel of Matthew. The Gospel according to Matthew, yes. And the uh, highlighted area, as you can see, it's about salt and light. But I will be illustrating on the light that is the part which I have selected that is the uh, 14th verse up to the 16th Jesus says you are the light of the world how powerful it is a city built on a hill cannot be hidden no one after lighting a lamp puts it under the bushel basket but on the lampstand and it gives light to all in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father in heaven. So this is the verse I am going to highlight, paint, and I was uh, meditating on this verse uh, before I started doing this thing. I always do my preparations, do my homework well. And I discuss with this with my son too. So this is the most uh, powerful message which I received. Let your light shine before others. So I used to question... Uh, do I have a powerful light to shine before others? Are my deeds count on this God's mercy so that it will reflect on others as a positive energy? So I have been thinking about it over and over again and now I'm going to do my artwork on this thought. God Almighty Father, I thank you for this moment, what you have given me, to use my talents, the gifts, the ability to speak, the ability to understand the word of God, and also to create it, the creative ability. We all, as God's children, are blessed in many, many ways. So let me do my part, spreading your word, with the people who love to see a little bit of creativity around that powerful words what you spoke. Bless me, Lord, to do this art page for you and do it well. Thank you.
this is my final artwork right here. You are the light of the world. A city built on a hill cannot be hid. No one, after lighting a lamp, puts it under the bushel basket, but on the lampstand, and it gives light to all in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father in heaven. This is a very wonderful, powerful message. I started painting with black color just to show the darkness in the world, but I felt it was very strong and it was overpowering the message. Then I applied a little bit ash color, white color, and I wanted to tone it down a little bit. Uh, then uh, the flames and the light which gives right throughout the picture is shown in this dry brush stroke effect. So we are the light to the world and Jesus says that people should notice that we carry the message of Jesus it represents the cross. The cross is Jesus, our journey. And also, you can't give light to the world. When you give light, people see clearly. People come out from the darkness and see clearly. Love is the other powerful thing what we have to show the light to the world. If you love somebody, if you love your neighbor, your own family, even loving your enemy, you don't wish any curse or harm to that person, but through forgiveness, you come to terms with God. People can do so much good to you, they also can do so much damage to you. But God is there to judge the good and the evil and to bless you for your good deeds. So love is very powerful. I always say, if you do anything for anybody, do it with love. Without love, it's no purpose in doing that. Sometimes through the most hardest times in your life, you do things thinking that, oh my goodness, this is a huge burden. Yes, yeah, humans, we feel it that way. But our act, we offer it to God. So the love represents these three hearts which I have pasted here. These are the laser cuts, beautiful hearts. You have uh, the designs right here, which I got from the dollar store. You have flowers leaves and even a little butterfly these are so cute and wonderfully done and the olive leaves i have put on the side of it and made this beautiful uh, colorful picture i think friends i'm happy to wind up my program and uh, the message is so powerful and we have to i think uh, meditate on the message and also to have a reflection this is what i always do when uh, when i read these verses especially before i do my artwork it's not just an artwork it's a reflection of my thoughts on the bible verse i am thinking uh, jesus says uh, the light. No one after lighting a lamp puts under the bushel basket but on the lampstand and it gives light to all the house. So we all live in a house. The house is full with the family members. Family makes the house because we live in that. That is our shelter. So in my role what am I doing? Am I the light to the people in the house? Am I a light to my family? And uh, I wrote it down like 
what are the mistakes which I do, what are the plus points and I came to the middle and I thought to myself the areas which I should improve to understand another person more deeply and to forgive and forget and accept and to show the to bring everyone to the righteous path so as a mother and as a wife I talk uh, because I fulfill these duties it's uh, very hard to find the balance sometimes but I always I will stand for my beliefs and I will also in a very productive way I will criticize and I will prove my point as to what is right and what is wrong and I always bring the gospel into the conversation always and I must say I always win by the grace of God and the power of the Holy Spirit I manage to be the light to my family, in my house, and even to the people whom I am surrounded with. Especially when I feel like this person needs help by word or deed or by prayer. So that is the true light as a Christian and a Catholic, what we should do. Thank you, God Almighty Father for Jesus in our lives. Jesus came into this world, walk on this earth and preached all these things. So I'm going to wind up uh, this whole uh, program and uh, thank you everybody. Please subscribe to my channel and if you like and if you think it's worth sharing with anybody, please do so. And I appreciate all your encouragement, all your prayers and comments, and I continue my journey. God bless you, and have a blessed day.